to show us all of the wonderful sports activities that campers didn't even know about. Even I didn't know about them, and I'm Don Donnelly! Check it out. Every week, there's a lot of new sports to try at Box Rock. And I'm gonna go ahead and try a few. Come on. So essentially this sport was brought over from Brazil, originally from Japan. The intention was that it be an actual sport and not something that can be used on the battlefields. Um, after, say, around the 1920s, it transitioned over into worldwide and it got really big. How many days a week is the school? It's Monday through Thursdays. All right, it's gonna be from nine to 11 every single day on those days. Now, let's check out archery. How many days a week do, uh, is there archery? Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. My favorite part of archery it's probably just, I love just shooting the arrows and seeing where they go. Yeah. Nice! Whoa. What was uh, your favorite part of archery? Trying really, really hard to get it on the target and just not giving up. Even though this time I unfortunately wasn't able to make it on the target, just know. having that goal and being able to establish that for the future is pretty awesome. Hello. Hello. Do you like fencing? Oh, I love fencing. It's really great sport. It's both a mix of like brawn, like strength, and also intelligence. Like you have to know what they're going to do and how to counter that and parry and then repost. Uh, how long have you been teaching fencing for? Teaching fencing at yeah, Bucks Rock, only five years. Maybe f yeah, five summers. How often does fencing happen? Three days a week, every uh, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Cool. Bucks Rock Sports. 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 This was Ben Jackson at Box Rock Sports. Now, back to the studio. This has been a very eventful week in the world of theater. Arms of the Man was performed Saturday, July 13th, and it was directed by Ernie Johns. Assistant director and stage manager, Matt Smith, stated, I am in dire need of a nap, but it went off without a hitch. It was the best performance they had given. In other theater news, Jason Zimbler, the director of the musical this year, threw a camp-wide spelling bee in the spirit of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. One camper and one counselor who won the spelling bee will be featured in the live performance of the musical. Congratulations! C O uh, N Relations. Relations, yes! What's your name? Uh, Gabriel Exet. Did you, oh, okay, so what did you participate in? The Spelling Bee. And what did you place? Uh, first, I first place. How did you hear about the Spelling Bee, Bo? Oh, well, it was on announcements. Did you study it all? No. Did you win? No. I'm directing the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling no, Bee. You're the, you're the awesome, and when does it perform? It performs Tuesday night. Yay. Two nights Cow from tonight. Scary. Yep. So you threw a spelling bee. What was the purpose? What was the... Why did you... The show has audience volunteers and you can pick them at random but we wanted to have the winners of the camp spelling bee be the volunteers in the actual show. D-Y-M-E-T-H People did a wonderful job. It was they were some challenging words. O N C I Q I P T O M N E. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's about really awkward kids discovering that their awkwardness is cool. Your awkwardness is cool, Jason. Thank you. 
Zippers and CITs came together on one night to perform in a wonderful array of music and dancing called Rock Cafe. There were 16 acts, including impressive and memorable performances from Lyra Schulman, Julia Kempner, and many others who entertained and enthralled us. We were honored to have a band called Pop Pistol come and play in front of an excited audience. We were able to catch up with them and ask them a few questions. I'm George. I'm Jorge. I'm Alex. I'm Ernesto. We, we are, are Pop, Pop Pistol. Pistol from San Antonio, Texas. I weren't performing. As a drummer, I'm using the back, you know, keeping the groove, and I close my eyes to get in my, my mood and my zone. But last night when I opened up my eyes, I saw everyone just erupt and bounce and jump and hands in the air, their eyes closed. For me, the best compliment is someone's closing their eyes, not in their head. Oh, we'd love them to come back, you know, anytime. Right now, they're doing a workshop and uh, printing and silkscreen. It's awesome. They're just they're great, great guys. Um, I really like the pop pistol because it was rock and I like rock music. They used already recorded noises while they were playing their own instruments, which was interesting. And now to Kenny with the weather! In one sentence, can you describe the whole week's weather? Oh yeah, it was, it's been like, it's been cloudy, and then there was some rain, and, and then there wasn't rain, and now the, the clouds are parting, and the sun is opening up, and people are feeling good. Nothing's gonna harsh my mellow, guys. Oh no, Maddie! Beep, beep! We were under attack Friday by inhabitants from Lebanesia! Don't, 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 don't worry, John. They're our friends. They serve us lemonade and then we talk them English in return. Oh. Oh. That's right, Maddie. It's weird. They strongly resemble many of the C.I.T.s. Today, I don't know, it's strange stuff going on. All these... I don't know, I don't know there's all these, uh, yeah, like aliens, but they're really, they're cute and they're friendly and uh, we're, we're really happy to have them here today. They seem to be pretty harmless. They're giving kids lemonade and making people laugh. It seems great. Bastille Day is a day where the, the CITs get to uh, kind of take over and create a theme and have some fun. I kind of helped organize Bastille Day. I supported the CITs. So they all had different parts and responsibilities. It's got to be over 30 or 40 years that the COTs have been running a kind of a, a spoof kind of thing on the on the day. But I don't know. Is that what today is? Is today Bastille Day? It might be. Donnelly says it. Goodbye.